Yeah, and it drives next-gen gaming and big leaps forward. So what have you got for us today? You know, I want to show you a new game from uh, talented teams at Ivory Tower and Reflection. You know, I'm very, very proud of this game. I'm convinced it's going to revolutionize the genre. Oh. So it's called The Crew. So take a look. Excellent. That was so incredible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up to the creative director of the crew, Julian Garrity. Hey, Aisha. How's it going? How are you? Welcome. How's it going? You look rad. Thank you very much. Yeah. You look pretty rad yourself. Thank you. All right. It's not a puppy, but it's with the compliments of the team. Oh, wow. There's very a little, nice. There's a little special something on there for you. Okay. Well, you know, normally I don't take bribes, but when it comes to gaming, I am incredibly unscrupulous. I have no morals whatsoever. So, later. Thank you very much. So, a new generation of hardware demands a new experience for driving games. With the crew, our first step was to ask, how do we use this new tech to change the status quo of driving games? The first answer we came up with, more variety in a video game world as big as has ever been created. Iconic city streets, off-road countryside, forests, mountains, desert flats, sand dunes, the whole of the USA. Now, with this ultimate player open-world playground in place, for the first time ever, you'll experience 
all the adventures of driving as you seek to infiltrate and take over a criminal organization one city at a time. Doing so, you'll experience what total freedom is. It's up to you to choose your cars, your customizations, your style of playing. This is driving at its most exciting, varied, open, and I like to think fun. How can we make it even more thrilling? We believe that sharing and competing with friends is essential. So we've made the entire game an online persistent world, blurring the line between the single player, the co-op, and competitive modes. You can play solo, of course, but even better. Group, group up with your friends, create a crew, and play co-op in every single mission, event, or race. Those traffic cars you were driving past at 180 miles per hour in downtown Detroit, they could be AI, but they could also be potential rivals or crew members, creating a truly immersive world that is very much alive. Now we're going to jump into a live demo of the game, where we'll see everything that I've just mentioned. We'll follow four players in four different regions of the USA. Then they'll all unite in Miami, forming a crew, customizing their vehicles to perform a takedown mission together. Our first stop is in New York City, where Steve is kicking off an illegal street race across the Brooklyn Bridge and outrunning the police. of New York, we join our second player, Fergus. Exploring Black Hills, close to Mount Rushmore, South Dakota. Now he's exploring with a friend, tracking down some skills. And there are thousands of these 20 second trials scattered throughout the world. Each one will reward you with experience, cash, and parts. And you see those hills over there? You can drive all the way over there and explore them too. Now our third player is Sly, and he's driving through the back roads in Nevada. He's going to launch a skill that requires him to beat a ghost, one of the ways we feature asynchronous challenges. But get this, he's driving a high-speed performance car that needs to stay on the road to really perform versus the ghost of his friend, a dirt car that is built for going across rocky terrain. Just over the hill, you can see Las Vegas. You could drive all the way down there and drag race the strip. But what we're going to do is to join Paul in the streets of Miami, our final stop. Now, Paul is wearing a hat, so he's not very good, and needs some help to finish a cooperative mission. So, he's sending invites to all of his friends, the three other players that we just saw, to beat a mission in a cooperative way. Note that there was no lobby no separation of the online multiplayer and the single-player experience. And this demo is live, so we're bound to make a few mistakes. Now, our customization system is something that we're pretty proud of. It allows players to tailor their car to exactly the character performance that every race, challenge, or mission requires. And yes, you can strip all the parts away from your, the body of the car, choose the individual performance parts from the engine to the rims, and build the vehicle back up.
Now that the crew is ready, they're gonna launch the compare the compare the cooperative mission. This was much easier when the room was empty. Sorry about that. Now it's a takedown of a rival faction driver that will take our four players across busy city roads, through backyards, across grassy parkland, and over beach dunes. The city of Miami is truly their driving playground. And as the players celebrate the completion of another mission, we see the arrival of a new threat in the form of a rival crew. The core of the game is collaborating and competing, and now it's up to the crew of four friends to work together to see off this new challenge. Meet him, Meet him and